Okay. We've been through the whole process. We've got our complete project plan in place, ready to go. What questions do you have on anything that we've discussed tonight? Well, I have a question. Yeah. Typically, how long does it take to get a job if you are using this? So the, the my clients who utilize the methodology are employed with generally within three to five months. Now, I need to caveat, right? Because there's no guarantees in the world. And my executive level folks are taking closer to six to eight months, but there are far fewer opportunities for them. My entry level folks, recent college grads, it's a long time if it takes them three months to find a job because there's a hell of a lot of opportunities for them. But on average, especially mid-career people, three to five months, if you utilize the process, you're going to be employed. Yes, Johnny, AI has changed the job search um, as another tool for you to use. So, for example, if you were to put you know, your resume and the job description into AI and say, you know, chat GBT, here's a job description and here's my resume. How good of a fit am I? Or what changes do I need to make to my resume in order to be a better fit for this job? It will give you those kinds of results, right? Um, so it's a great tool. Please make sure you learn how to use it properly in your job search. Uh, Mike, do you have your hand go up there? Did I see? Go ahead. Yes, you did. I did. It was a, a little specific, and that was to go back to the list of, you know, looking at a list of your, your accomplishments, that things that you're good at, like doing, and are proud of. Some of us have a lot of past to sift through. Is there any tips on yeah. tapping that kind of stuff or, or structuring that kind of yeah, so, so one of the, the, the and you're not necessarily going to be happy with the answer, I have to be honest, right? Because most people don't, haven't thought to do this. I didn't think to do this until I started working in the industry. Save every single performance evaluation, performance review you get every year from your employer, because that performance review should have at least one, if not three to five accomplishments or successes that you have had through that year. Okay, so so there's, those are great documents as a starting place to identify accomplishments from your employment. Um, but don't limit yourself just to those things. You can look at you know your your college years and what were some of the things you accomplished in your college years, and then how does the the skills that you learned or perfected relate to your success today right um so I, I had one woman um she said one of the greatest the top five one of her top five accomplishments in her life was learning how to tie her shoes at seven years old now most of us who are parents would probably recognize that the milestone age for learning how to tie your shoes is typically four to five years old, not seven. So she was delayed in this space. No one could figure out why until her second grade teacher recognized she had an eye-hand coordination issue. He went and researched this teacher, exercises that this girl could do to improve her eye-hand coordination. And now at 45 years old, when I'm working with her, she said to me, Paul, I still at times have trouble with my eye-hand coordination. I go back to those exercises that my second grade teacher taught me when I was seven years old, and I practice them, and I get my coordination back. What that tells you, Paul, is that I have determination, that I am going to overcome obstacles, and I'm not going to let them hold me back. I'm willing to learn and go and get external information that's going to help me to do a better job. 
that all comes from when I was seven years old, learning how to tie my shoes. So um, it can be anything in your life. I think uh, Howard has the um, opportunity to ask the last question for this evening. Okay. Howard. Howard. You summarize how to get five conversations with hiring managers per week. Okay. So um, it's not necessarily five conversations per week, Howard. Um, when, with the networking, whether it's the general networking of eight to 10 conversations or the hiring manager conversations, five or six of them, over the course of a period of time, three, four weeks, two months, you should be able to look back and say, these are the five hiring managers that I'm talking to actively right now that ultimately I hope to get a job with or get an interview from. But, you know, after three or four weeks of steering the conversation towards hire me and that's not happening, I'm dropping one of them like a hot potato and bringing the next one on so that I always have got five hiring managers that I'm talking to. In any given day or week, you may only talk to one or two of them, hopefully three, but probably not all five or six. How are you identifying your networking contacts? So, you know, again, that that's um, anybody on LinkedIn, anybody you've ever worked with in the past, uh, anyone who is an alumni of any age from your uh, college, whether they're a recent grad or they're five or 10 years retired, they still have contacts, people that they know. So you want to get access to those contacts, right? Doesn't matter who. I had one uh, client tell me that his five-year-old daughter got him the job as a vice president at a regional bank here in New Jersey. Now, I got to share how that happened because I know you're all asking. She came down to breakfast one day and said, Mommy, why doesn't Daddy go to work anymore? How did that sit with him, right? So he had a conversation with his daughter talking about what it is that he does in terms that he could understand those introductions, jargon based or education based, right? Told his daughter what, she do, what he does in terms he could understand and just said, you know, if any of your friends, mommies or daddies work at banks, I would love to talk to them. A week later, she comes running home from school. Daddy, daddy, guess what? My friend Janie's daddy works at a bank. So now his goal became, I'm going to meet Jane's dad. Come hell or high water, I'm going to meet this guy. And within a, a couple of days, driving his daughter to school, Jane's dad's dropping Jane off at school. He has a conversation with the guy. Next thing you know, this guy is saying, man, I need somebody like you at my bank. Here's my card. Give me a call. Let's have a, a, a conversation in the next couple of days. Two weeks later, the guy had interviewed with and was hired by the president of that bank because Jane's father was the president of the bank. So I hope that's helpful for you, Howard. 